Hello, dear friends. This is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and put the kids to bed. We're about to talk about something very, very scary. Yes, adults only tonight. Remember Frankenstein in the original Frankenstein movie, 1931. Frankenstein is walking through the woods and he discovers a sweet little girl who's so nice. And he throws her in the lake and kills her. Of course, he doesn't mean to. That's part of the tragedy. And then there's the similar and very famous scene from Con Air where the psychopathic killer, right there, is having lunch with a sweet little girl he came upon after he was walking in the woods. What will happen? Well, actually, there's quite a surprise um, event that happens. I recommend the movie. It's cool. No, but we're going to be talking about the evil, the evil zombies. And the zombies, well, at least one zombie, is going to eat the little girl on purpose, because that's what zombies do. So here we go. We're going to have, we're going to define, this is called defining two functions. We're going to let f of x be x squared plus 3x plus 2. And we're going to let g of x be 2x plus 1. And we're going to compose them. Nasty F is going to come up behind poor little G. Look at that. F is dripping blood. He's a zombie. And he's going to come up behind the sweet little girl playing with her little pink doll. And he's going to gobble her up. Oh! Oh, it's so sad. There he goes. She's in his tummy now. And there's even more blood. Oh. So this is the story of composition of functions. It can be truly scary, but this is what it means. The letter behind is the zombie. The letter in front is the sweet little girl. Write that out. And of course there's the pink dolly. It doesn't really have to be pink. And this is what happens. F eats G of X. To be continued. Here we go. F of X again is X squared plus 3X plus 2. And g of x is 2x plus 1, in this case. And if we take the composition of those two functions, this is what you get. f of g of x. And everywhere there's an x, we're going to put g of x so that f of g of x <clears throat> equals g of x squared plus 3 times g of x plus 2. So this is going to equal what g of x equals. 
2x plus 1 squared plus 3 times 2x plus 1 plus 2. And now we're going to work this out. But don't be fooled. 2x plus 1 is a binomial. If you square it, you're going to have to FOIL it. Now let's distribute the 3. Now we're going to FOIL. First outside, inside last. And this 3 plus 2 at the end is 5. So our final answer for f circle g, or f of g, of x, is going to be 4x squared plus 10x plus 6. Blood everywhere! <laughs>